constituent assembly we are going to study about constituent assembly what is this constituent assembly is all about a constituent assembly is a body assembled for the purpose of drafting or revising a constitution a constituent assembly is also known as a form of representative democracy hope you got what is constituent is all about i come again a constituent assembly is a form of representative democracy it is also known as a body and the purpose of this body is to draft or revise a constitution and that is known as constituent assembly so which year when it was started it was started in the year 1934 and who gave this idea of constituent assembly or who put forward for the first time is emin roy he is the person who put forward for the first time the idea about constituent assembly he is also known as a pioneer of communist movement in india then what happened the indian national congress in the year 1935 they also started to say about this constituent assembly they also started to demand officially there is a need that we have to frame the constitution for the nation especially for the country india then what happened in the year 1938 chawarlal nehru he also started to say about the constitution so the constitution of free india must be framed without outside interference and he also said that by a constituent assembly can be done elected on the basis of adult franchise adult franchise you know what i mean by adult franchise i hope you know adult franchise is the right to vote for the age for OT then what happened in august of for of 1940 the drafting committee was set up on august 29th in the year 1947 which entrusted with the task of preparing a draft for the new constitution so in the drafting committee there were seven members and dr v r ambedkar was the chairman and the first draft of the constitution was read in the month of november 4th in the year 1948 so it the first reading took place on that day and date the constitution is adopted on november 26 1949 which contains or which contained a preamble 395 articles and eight schedules the preamble was enacted after the entire constitution was already enacted now what do you mean by preamble articles and schedules understand what is preamble is all about it is an introductory statement uh, for the beginning of the constitution or you can say that it is the beginning of the constitution or it gives a brief note about what is this constitution is all about then articles with the help of those articles we can make the law uh, schedules are the divisions are the parts that takes place in the constitution so who played a significant role in framing or in drafting the constitution uh, for the nation is the then law minister dr b r ambedkar who piloted the draft constitution in the assembly he took a very prominent part in the deliberations of the assembly and uh, he is recognized as the father of the constitution of india he is also known as the chief architect of the constitution of india so
so constitution should be unique in contents and spirit it was borrowed from almost every constitution of the world and several distinguishing salient features are there in the constitution and amendments have happened several amendments amendments we know that the changes or alterations or modifications that are made in the acts uh, but in the case of anand bharati case which was happened in the year 1973 the supreme court ruled out that the parliament and the under article 368 and it also said that you cannot alter the basic structure of the constitution so this keshavan bharati case which happened in the year 1973 played a very important role in order to stop altering or one cannot alter the basic structure of the constitution so that is a very important thing when you study about the constitution i hope you have understood what is constitution who put forwarded this constitution how it was taken place and who played a significant role in drafting this constitution and what do you mean by preamble schedules and articles thank you